Hey guys, it's Kelly with My Metamorphosis and I'm really happy to be here with you as always, but it's been a really long time. So um, I'm excited to share a Dollar Tree haul with you today and um, just catch you up on a little bit of life stuff. So you guys know the drill, it hasn't changed. Grab a drink, grab a snack, sit back and relax, and let's enjoy this Dollar Tree haul together. All right, we're gonna just jump on in. I'm not gonna get into a whole bunch of stuff. Um, I will let you know that I um, have been going through quite um, some big life transformations transitions um, all good um, but it's been a long hard road and so um, I may just do a video at some point to talk about um, some of those things more specifically more personally but right now I would love to share this Dollar Tree haul with you I have of course in the five or so months I've been on here I've gone to the Dollar Tree store Dollar Tree <laughs> countless times um, but I've just not been um, on here to show those items to you so I'm gonna show you my most recent trip or two and um, I hope everybody's doing really well no particular order as usual no rhyme or reason just grabbing stuff and showing it to you all right I'm gonna start with something not too exciting I did grab a pack of the black tea, all natural. You get 100 tea bags in there. I think that's a great deal for $1.25. Doing something a little different this time. Got some music in the background, some royalty free music, um, but I'm kind of trying to get the volume right. Then I grabbed um, a 30 pack of these foam um, little, little throwaway trays. We use these for lunches and stuff. They work great. Um, if you guys, okay, let me just say, <clears throat> excuse me, I haven't been watching um, my YouTube sisters um, or other YouTube channels much at all it really not at all for like the last five months until recently so um, I've missed out on what people have been hauling but I would imagine that people have been hauling these um, you know the Dollar Tree was carrying these in various different sizes shapes and colors and um, so yeah I've got greens and blues and all kinds of stuff in our beachy living room so this it's got a really cool, has a cool texture on it and a little cork lid. Um, so I've got one of those. Then I got this one, which is like kind of almost like a milk glass design. Um, and there's the same lid. All right, um, grabbed one of these. So we all know that they've carried these before, right? Not with such large, not to my recollection, not with such large, cool looking leaves before and definitely not with the glass pot, but I think this is wonderful. It's got a little blue and purpley with some green hydrangea. I already opened this, um, but um, I got one of these. This is by the Etos brand, and it's lavender vanilla lotion, 15 fluid, fluid ounces, and it smells really good. And it's really, I mean, I think a great deal for a buck twenty-five, and it's really nice lotion. Whoops, sorry, baby. Um, got a little candle it's surf and sun 
love the gold and teal marbly look and it smells really good really really good I've got this candle you know I'm sure people have been hauling these too obviously all of like the little um what would you call them hmm you know I lose my words once I get on here so like this one is called soothing and there may be one that's spa something and there may be one that or I guess they're all spa type um, theme is what I'm going for there might be meditation or relax or whatever so anyway this is soothing we have yellow and gold in our living room as well so I just got one of those it's got the cool little wooden top so um, oh, and it smells so good honestly that smells like um, it smells like creamsicle to me I already have one of these draped on one of my lamps. It's one of the shelf lamps with almost like a lantern looking top light to it. So I just needed one for the other side. It's just a little um, four foot garland. And then as we all know, they've been, you know, increasing their supply of garland and flowers and greens at the Dollar Tree. This one's kind of fallen out of here, but this is another garland. It's got that cool frosty look. What are they saying? No, they're just calling it green garland. And it's 5.5 feet. So that's more than the other one. And it's very flowy and can't wait to use that got a little starfish a ceramic one for one of our shelves please excuse my nails um i got acrylics done a couple months ago and i had an a um gift certificate really is the only reason i um got them done I hadn't gotten them done before that in like maybe 10 years and to be honest with you I'm not a huge acrylic nail fan I would much rather just put on some Dollar Tree glue on nails let them last for a week or two and then put on another set um, sorry I don't know what's all over this um, but anyway I couldn't handle them anymore I cut them down and then you can see where they're growing out so I'm gonna try to like do something with them to make them look halfway decent while they grow out. Okay, so these are the, these cool little um, crosses. They have in all different colors and all different sayings. And this one is, may the blessings from heaven fill this home with love. And then you can flip it around and it says, walk in love, grow in grace. It's got the stand at the bottom. And I have incorporated yellow and, and bees into our living room. Like I said, we have a beachy theme in our living room, but I just, and right now the Dollar Tree has so much bee stuff, it's amazing. So there's this beautiful little, like, like a little bird cage with the bees on the outside. And I mean, how perfect would this be on a tear tray or hanging? I think I may hang this up. Got one of these detangling combs with a shower handle. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna use it in the shower, I may, but anyway, look at all those little roses. And I also got the, the matching glove that's like to kind of slough off the dry skin on your legs, um, but I've already got that in the shower. so. This was around Mother's Day. They had these out and you can just hang this in the shower. Um, yeah. My hair gets super tangly. And then I got these for um, the bathroom because I got a bigger um, trash can in there. So these are just the little scented vanilla 13 gallon 
um, just little cheapy bags. There's 35 of them though. They're perfect for the bathroom. And I thought these were so cool, you guys, because I don't know about you, but when I apply my makeup and I'm using my beauty blender, there's spots I can't get, right, with the big old beauty blender. So now they have these little mini finger makeup sponges. They're like kind of, they're not, no, they're not the same. They're not foam. Well, maybe they are foam, but they're a different kind. They're almost like the old school, like powder, you know, like Estee Lauder or something, you know, like the, the, the powder, the compact powder puff. So that's what these are. They had all different colors and I got this one and you have come in a nice little case, like hard plastic. And there's four of them in there. I got the one with the blue, the, sorry, the glare, the nude color, the black and the pink. thought this was very cool too. Um, it is multi-purpose cleaning paste for kitchen, bathroom, laundry room, indoors and outdoors, grills, stovetops, ovens, pots and pans, glass and silverware, chrome and tile, shower sinks and toilets, granite countertops, washer and dryer, mold and mildew, soap, scum and mineral deposits. And this is what it looks like. Comes in this little tub. And it almost looks like spackle. It's like a very, very light, light pink. I'm weird. I'm going to smell it. It smells kind of like it has no smell, if that makes sense. <laughs> um, and then I got one of these for our little shelves in the um, living room. They have these in gold as well. They're just little tea light holders. Um, so, wait, which one is this? Sorry, give me a second. Um, Oh yeah, okay, so this is by LA Colors. It's a little nail gem kit. You get a pot of loose gems, one self-adhesive nail gems sheet, and one nail art tool. To be honest with you, I'm not really sure what you do with that art tool, that, it's that little white pencil. But, um, Oh, okay, you do it to pick a place on the nail. So that's cool. Um, I had never gotten one of these before, but I feel like something spilled in there. I don't know what that is. Stuff all over me. Um, it's one of the flower rockets. So you just plant it and you water it and it grows. There's over 500 seeds in it. It's a never ending bouquet continuous blooming all summer long and it's great for um indoors so there's that and it shows you a little picture right there on the bottom and it says this particular one is great for butterflies and hummingbirds oh guess what i did grab that little glove here's the matching glove All right, um, I'm excited to try this. It's by Beauty Guru Natural Hair Serum. It nourishes the hair. It's got a ready to use dropper. It's 100% natural with carotene. It's vegan, cruelty free. And you get, oh goodness, I need my glasses. You guys, I can't read that. I'm not even gonna try. Okay. Um, Trace and I have become obsessed with these. I used to use these products a lot in my 20s. Um, but um, 
we just thought we would start using them again we would try a couple and we've just fallen in love with these well there's a couple a couple brands are the softy which are these ones and then there's the lusty so this is softy daily hair dress with mango butter um enriched with shea so i mean like we're talking i will put it on at night and i will just let it be on my hair and let it soak in and make it wonderful and soft and even if i'm home you know and i'm not going anywhere i might put some in put my hair up and just let it be but anyway there's the mango butter one and i haven't tried this yet but this is the herbal herbal grow it's an herbal oil formula maximum strength it's supposed to make your hair grow there's that one all right guys where are we at we're only at 15 minutes okie dokie um i got some of it's from the home store the orange furniture polish you get quite a bit in here you get 10 ounces then um they've got these new soaps um delta home um i did grab another one but i don't think i have it out here so this one is for our kitchen it's actually called kitchen lemon and it's 16 fluid ounces and they're just really chic looking all right got some lemon juice and this is actually not for cooking um it is for um some hacks now I am not going to promise you anything because I have not been able to follow through with certain things in the past, but my hope is to be more consistent on here now that things have um, calmed down in my life and um, I would love to share DIYs with you. I would love to share some um, hacks with you and um, of course hauls. So we'll see how that goes. But anyway, this is 17 fluid ounces of lemon juice. Got another one of these to have in my purse. It's the Dove Nourishing Care Beauty Cream and it's the pink one and it smells so very good. So, so very good. Got one of these. Um, I'm not going to store food in there, but I do have some little um, tidbits that I'm going to use these four to hold. So you get four little square, I think they have other sizes, maybe even other colors, little containers. I just picked the square gray ones. And I thought these were cool. One of them fell off, but they do come in four. And I'm going to see if Trace likes them. So first of all, we don't get the, the Fago brand. Genuine Fago brand. I want to say that that is an East Coast, Midwest thing. And I don't know if it is... Like we get Shasta and I don't know if the Fago is in place of the Shasta, but anyway, we got this at our store obviously and it's cotton candy pop soda. We say pop here. Most of us, if you're from Washington state, say pop. So yeah, see if Trace likes those. All right. Please excuse all my reaching. I'm gonna try to have a little different setup next time. Maybe put my bigger table out here because also, oh, it's killing my back. <laughs> um, got two of the Russell Stover mint patties in dark chocolate. We get 2.49 ounces. Got a pack of um, cinnamon trident. Two more little jars, um, and these ones have the bees on them. It's 
beautiful little like almost I don't know light teal almost sea green type color and even the can, the bottle itself kind of has a beehive look so this is going to go in our living room and this um I still have the same bedroom set up. However, I've incorporated some more colors because I ended up getting, um, gosh, you guys, what is this called? Oh my gosh, not a canvas, whatever, a tapestry, um, which has all of these gorgeous colors so I've just really brought in extra colors into my room but I still have the oranges and the peaches so this little amber colored again little beehive looking one with the bee is gonna go into my bedroom so I have to tell you you guys um, so I had almost removed like I would say I had removed 99% of sugar from my my daily intake my daily diet um, and you know I was eating natural sugars like um, uh, fruit but um, just no candy no anything like that and um, I will say this so I'm in recovery. Um, I've shared this with you guys before. If you've been with me for a while, recovery from an alcohol addiction. And um, that's my drug of choice is alcohol. Um, I was doing really, really well with that, um, with staying sober, was doing great. Um, but, um, I am also what they call, I, I've always just been very open and honest with you guys and I will continue to do that. And if I'm not your cup of tea, no harm done. Um, I'm not going to be everybody's cup of tea, but I will come to you and I will be vulnerable. I will take my mask off in front of you guys and I will show you exactly who I am. Um, that's been a part of this YouTube journey for me. So, um, I am also a, what they call a dual diagnosis person, meaning I have not only addiction issues, but I have mental health issues. Um, mental health can be hereditary. It is in my case. Um, I did not get diagnosed with anything until I was 40. I will be 50 this year. So almost 10 years ago. So really late in life, I got diagnosed. Well, um, the last 10 years almost um, has been a it's been a climb to try to find the right medication for me so I was on a medication um, one of the medications I was on was pretty much just poison to my body um, it made me so sedated that there were times when I was doing videos and doing them at night after I had taken my medication that I may have appeared like I had been drinking. That was the, one of the side effects of that medication. Um, that was not the case. I had not been drinking. Um, uh, and anyway, some medications were getting switched around because I just, I had said no more to that one, right? And what happened is during that time I ended up having a relapse and I drank. I did a one night of drinking and I caused a lot of damage in that one night. Um, and so the reason I bring all that up to you is because all of a sudden, so fast forward into recovery, right? I'm coming up on, you know, honestly, you guys, I've, I've lost track of my days and that's not good. I'm maybe four and a half months or so. Um, sober clean and sober so um, I was working and I was you know I was at that time doing my my second job 
um, which is gig work, DoorDash, Grubhub, all that kind of stuff, right? Well, I, I decided recently to do that full time, but that's a whole different thing. Anyway, I found myself for the first time like craving alcohol and I just thought, oh, it's like a summer day out, you know, it's, it's beautiful. I'm, I'm picking up orders from certain places. They're not bars, but they, they definitely have a drinking atmosphere or whatever, you know, or they're, you know, whatever the case may be. And I was like, this is weird. I'm having, I'm craving alcohol. And then all of a sudden it dawned on me. I cannot completely deprive my body of sugar because alcohol is sugar. So if you go to certain meetings, okay, um, recovery meetings, they will have dishes of candy because we as people in recovery are supposed to always have something like that on hand. So, so that when we get those cravings, we don't turn to alcohol to relieve that. So anyway, that big spiel was just to tell you that I, it scared me and I went from, um, like 99% of no sugar to like, I'm going to buy some candy bars. <laughs> so anyway, no, there has to be balance, but I must've been craving chocolate when I went to the Dollar Tree yesterday because I ended up getting a Reese's peanut butter cup a Hershey's with almonds <laughs> and turtle bites. So, you know, whether I will eat one or more of these, I never know. Sometimes they'll sit around forever and sometimes Trace will get into them and sometimes, yeah, whatever. But there you go. All right, back to the haul. So I got some Snapple Fruit Punch, little, pow little uh, drink packets you get six and then um, I got the pink lemonade Weilers light you get eight let's see where are we at 26 all right because I just talked for a really long time about stuff that I will again talk about in another video that you know it'll be separate because then you can choose whether you want to to listen to all that or not and hear about what's been going on. Um, I grabbed two of these. These are the Pace Nacho Cheese Sauce, the mild. I'm gonna tell you something that Trace and I figured out. Um, I don't even know how we did it. We've, we've never done it before, but to make nachos, just like quick microwave nachos, you use this plus real cheese. So good. And then I got two of these, which is more of like what I cook with. Um, it's by Mexicali and it's white nacho cheese sauce. It is like the queso blanco. So I got two of those, not gonna pull all those out. All right. Um, I drank the other one of these yesterday. So these are the Arizona green tea with ginseng and honey. They are 34 fluid ounces. So the ladies um, in my apartment complex, whom I'm close to, my, my neighbors, my neighbor friends, um, our apartment complex, um, they are not in recovery, but they don't drink. So it, it's just kind of, for me, it's a God thing. So I saw these at the Dollar Tree, of course, and I messaged them in our little group chat and was like, we have to have these. Like in my mind, it was like a sex in the city, uh, mocktail hour, right? We're gonna do virgin drinks. So, so I got, you know, they all told me which ones they wanted. So, so one of them is for me, of course, the butterflies. And then one is for my friend, Jody. She wanted the butterflies. And then my friend, Jen, and she wanted the butterflies. And then, um, the turtle brandy wanted the turtle and then Kimberly wanted the turtle as well but they only had one so we're waiting for to go to another Dollar Tree to find her one of those so that'll be fun all right all right we can do a little 
a little more. All right, here's a few hair things. I just thought this was so cool. No, it does not go in the dark. At least it doesn't say it does, but it's just um, a claw clip, a larger one, and I just thought it was super cool color. And then I got, um, I really hope I don't already have this. I'll gift it if I do. Cause I definitely know I've looked at it before, but I just, I love the colors and I love like the palm look there, the tropical and the gorgeous teal and black and the roses and the peach and, or the pink and orange. And anyway, so there's that. You guys know I love my headbands. And then I thought this was so cool. It's just, different you know you can't get the full effect of it right now because it's on that little thing but it's got little fringe on the edges of it and it's like got a little denim look and i just thought that was so cool all right and then i got my favorite um old orchard healthy balance drink and it's the pomegranate blueberry acai and um Oh wow, this whole time I thought this was no sugar. It's only one gram of sugar, but that's gotta be per, huh, hold on one second. So I don't know if that's per serving, but there's eight servings, so that'd be 16 grams of sugar, but whatever, that's not a lot. So, um, anyway, it is the pomegranate blueberry acai and it's 64 fluid ounces. They are saying if you compare it to the 100% um, juice blend, it is 29 grams of sugar. So, all right, guys, I don't want to let this go much longer. Um, I've got definitely a couple more hauls to show you at least. So... I hope you enjoyed this time with me. I definitely enjoyed this time with you. Again, I have missed you. And please don't think that that's a big fat lie because, you know, like, well, if you've missed us, why haven't you been on here? <laughs> Life happens. I think about everybody every day. I'm connected with some of my YouTube sisters and um, a couple of subscribers on Facebook. And I would love to connect with you as well. Um, if you liked what you saw here and you want to be a part of this family, I would love to have you. Okay, sorry, you got a call in and it erased or it um, stopped the video. So um, if you would like to be a part of this family, please hit that subscribe button. If you'd give this video a like, I would so appreciate it. And um, most importantly, send me a comment down below. If you do describe, subscribe please hit the little bell so you can be notified every time i upload a video i love you guys and i will see you very soon mm -hmm.